I told you in the beginning of this, in the introduction of our master class, one thing that you as an orthodontist need is mandatory, com completely mandatory. You can't, you can't escape from this. You need to know that. One thing that you must master is the relationship between the moment of the, the force that you are applying and the moment couple that is provided by the torque. The moment of the force, the force of retraction, will generate, as we know, moment is this, will generate an inclination of upper anterior teeth. And this inclination, if we don't control it well, if we don't control it properly, we are going to block our movement very fast, very soon. Why? Because the inclination is going to be lost without the correction of the canine. And the correction of the canine still needs to be done. And you have this contact between upper and lower anterior teeth. It's common. As you know, it's very, very common in our practice. What can we do? First of all, if you apply the right, the right method for retracting, you are not going to have this problem. You are not going to have the blockage of the movement because you are applying the right couple to overcome the moment of the force. So what can we do to control this moment, this inclination? The torque in a straight wire applies is what controls it. The torque is going to generate the moment of the couple to overcome the moment of the force. So the relationship between the moment of the force and the moment of the couple is what allows us as orthodontists position the center of rotation of the movement wherever we want. Of course, this is not that simple, but the basic is this.